Hey everybody, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. Welcome to Learn at the Little House. Today's video is a quick shop update on a few spiral bound books that I have just listed in the shop. There's a couple cookbooks and a handyman book and a sewing book. We're going to start with the Better Homes and Gardens um, new cookbook. And it's actually not new, it's from 1972. And the inside looks pretty nice, I have to say. The tabs are all in really nice shape and the inside is clean. You know, there might be something here or there, but I haven't seen any uh, noticeable character marks, let's call them. And it's a really nice, nice book. These make great art journals, and they make awesome planners, too, because you can take the pages in and out. All right, and there's the back. The next one is this sewing book, and this is from 1970, and the cover is in really nice shape, and so is the inside. It's got a little plastic um, sheet on the first page, and there's a plastic, um, I don't know what that is, a holder, spacer. I'm um, doing this one-handed, so the pages look pretty nice, and I... I'm a big sewing uh, person, so I love the fact that this is sewing and it has some really interesting um, pictures of people and sewing projects. Look, I love it. It's really great. If you're into sewing, you will love this. All right, so it has tabs, and the tabs are in nice shape. And I am not going to go through all the pages. But uh, the book looks pretty good. There's a few, um, let's say, character darkening of the paper here and there. But not, not much. It's really, actually, it's probably the only one I saw so far. And I did flip through the book before I started the video. It's just beautiful. I personally love the yellow. Okay, and there's some color. Wow, that's cool. All right, so I'm not going to take too long with each book. These are wonderful books. How to make a bedspread. And there is about 350 pages, 360 pages, something like that. Okay, and there's the back. All right, here's a Betty Crocker's cookbook, and I actually own this one, <laughs> and I've had it. Mm, for a very, very long time. So I couldn't find a date in it, but I'm going to guess it's from the 70s. And it's a nice book. It's got this little thing in there, but it is cracked. And uh, the content page is still here, which I have to tell you, mine is missing. And mine is seriously beat up and stained with food. So these pages look pretty good. I used mine forever, and I st actually still use it. So these pages are really nice. There's not a lot of food on them, although um, food, <laughs> you should see mine. It's got a lot of staining. The tabs are in nice shape, too. And there's... A little bit of uh, spillage you might say when somebody's following a recipe that stuff doesn't bother me because I know that somebody loved it and they made that recipe and if it bothers you this is not the book for you and let's see okay so this one it looks like the page is loose but if you're using this for an altered book you might be taking the pages out you might be cutting them up So I think this is in pretty good shape, yeah. And it has approximately, oh, let's say 400 pages. And there's the back cover. All right, this one is an interesting one. I have never seen anything like it. It is called the Woman's Day Collector's Cookbook. And it's like a vinyl cover. 
and of course it does have the spiral binding inside and it's a very interesting shape. I don't know if you can tell from the picture but it's rather long and again I say uh, the dimensions will be in the Etsy listing and the first page um, is is loose. It's a long and thin book and did I say this was from the 70s? Yes it's from 1970 and just look at these pictures. Oh wow this paper is very aged beautiful um, like a brownish aging on it. I love it. Love it, love it. All right, let's look. The tabs look like they're really nice. This is a very nice book. Okay. Let's flip through it. Take a look. And remember, I'm holding the camera, so I hope I'm not shaking too much. But this is nice. It's got, oh, see, they're perforated. It's, uh, it's stuck together there. That's very interesting. I thought they had an interesting inner edge. Can you see that? So some of them are still stuck together until I just stuck my finger in there, that is. All right. Poultry. Fish. These cards alone are gorgeous. Yes, it looks like each section is kind of stuck together. That's what it looks like. All right, well, I don't know if they're all going to be stuck together. Obviously, they're not. But uh, this is a really nice book. Very unusual. All right, let's flip. Let's flip to the back and see how many pages are in here. Oh, there's approximately, let's say, 900 um, 900, approximately 500 pages, 511. Beautiful, beautiful book. Okay, these, this is the inside back cover over here with measurements and stuff. And that's the back. It's just part. Right. This is another Better Homes and Gardens. It's called New Cookbook. It looks a little different than the first one that I showed you. Now this one has a little, it's showing a little signs of age right here. But it's a, it's, I don't know, it's a beautiful old book. And I couldn't find the um, date. I couldn't find the date on the inside. So I'm going to say the 70s. Um, we kind of got all these books at the same time and they were all from the same place. So this one, um, It's just got a really beautiful inside. I, it might even be a little older. I don't know. That looks more like the 50s to me. That outfit and the phone. Well, of course, those phones were used in the 70s as well. But um, very nice. All right, this page is loose. Sometimes you'll find that, that the pages are loose. It has um, very nice aging, aged paper. And if I find a date for it, I will put it in the Etsy listing. But these are, this definitely looks like the 50s, don't you think, That with that clothing? Um, these are really beautiful tabs. Oh, yeah, look at that kitchen. What do you think? You tell me. <laughs> it definitely doesn't look like the 70s to me, but watch, it'll make a liar out of me. So it's got some beautiful tabs. And... Oh, I just love the pink paper. And all right, did you see that? The the um the bottom was a little stained right there. So, it's very very nice. But of course, it's old and will have character marks. And likely will have some uh, food spillage on it somewhere. How to freeze. Look at that cake. That looks yummy. Okay, let's kind of try to just flip through. It's hard. As soon as I hit a tab, the whole thing wants to go. It's 
taught to do this one-handed. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Let's flip to the back. And see how many pages it has. It looks like it has 400 and some pages. And it looks like somebody tried to do a little bit of a repair here and put um, those reinforcers on there. So this looks like it was a loved cookbook. Oh, this is an extra page. This doesn't belong in the book. This is something that somebody added extra, and I'll leave it in. And the back page. Mm, this is coming up a little bit over here. And there's the back. Looks pretty nice. Okay, this one is a um, Better Homes and Gardens Handyman book, and it is from 1957. And uh, the cover's in pretty nice shape. And um, the inside looks pretty good. And here's the first page. And let's... Uh, Show through the pages. Talking about tools, screwdrivers, and hammers. And it does show little, you know, signs of aging or age. Let's see, the tabs look like they're in really nice shape. And there is some um, shading of the paper. Or I should say aging of the paper. I don't know if you can see that in the book. It's, yeah, the age signs. The paper is a little browning and whatnot. But it doesn't feel brittle. Uh, that looks like a crease, but it's not. It's just a mark on the paper. And 1957. Yeah, it's been around a while. Um, let's see. Let's go back here a little bit. I think this gentleman may have read this. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love the colors. And let's see. All right, sorry, I got quiet. I'm looking at the pictures myself. So it looks pretty good, I would have to say. Um, but overall, the, the index pages look really nice. And uh, let's get to the back. Okay, this index page is a little um, chewed, I like to call it. Oh, but see, on the back it's not. So you know what? I think there was something glued on there. That's what I think that is, something glued on there. All right, and it's got approximately, let's say, 400 pages, including the index. And there's the back inside cover. All right. Okay, I just wanted to show you that there's some staining around the outside edges. And the back looks really beautiful. Nice, nice book. And it's intact. Okay, let's go back to the front. Yep. All right. Okay. Thank you for watching, and um, I hope everyone has a blessed day full of love and recycled art, and you'll find these books in the Etsy shop. Bye for now.